Hi, I'm Dick Dizel, known to many folks around the Chicago area as Richard Dizel, but probably known to most people as the man behind Count Gore Duvall and Creature Feature, the weekly web program. I recently went to see the movie Super 8, loved it, and then read many interviews with Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams where they talked about how making Super 8 movies in their youth drove them to their careers. Well, I said if it was good enough for those two, it's good enough for me. So I'm coming out of the film can, so to say, to talk about my experience with 8mm and Super 8 film. And not only am I going to talk about it, but I'm going to show you my epic. But before we get to that, a little background. I was born and raised under the lens of an 8mm camera. My father had a wind-up Kodak 8mm camera, and from as long as I can remember, birthdays, uh, family gatherings, holiday celebrations, and uh, trips to the cemetery where I roamed endlessly around the family plot were all recorded on film. I wonder if that last one affected my future career any. Hmm. Plus, there was lots of footage of vacations, because we took a lot of driving vacations and drove all over the country. I was always disappointed, however, when people were reluctant to sit down and watch our vacation movies. And then it occurred to me many years later that the reason was they had no context. There was no story, there was no sound, there was no music, there was no reason to watch home movies. So I thought about that for many years. Also, we had a household reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, which I learned to use, I learned, learned to use all this equipment at a very young age. So, in 1965, having just graduated high school, my good friend Johnny Veluzzi came to me and said, hey, how would you like to go on vacation with my family uh, to Miami Beach, Florida? I said, Miami Beach? Oh, that's so cool! Because we had just seen Goldfinger, which supposedly took place and was shot somewhat in Miami Beach. And I go, wow, we could go on vacation and we could make a movie. We could actually make vacation movies exciting by putting a storyline to it, some sound and some music, and so the idea was born. So, I had just got our brand new Bell & Howell Super 8 movie camera with zoom lens. Whoa! Now, it didn't have sound, but I did have a portable battery-operated reel-to-reel tape deck, so we went off to Miami Beach. There, well, enough to drive. We rented a, a motorcycle, kind of, like a 55cc Yamaha, and uh, we went to the Fountain Blue Hotel and did our first guerrilla shooting. Didn't kind of ask permission. Um, we kind of put a storyline to it and um, recorded the voice tracks. Then I got home, I edited together the Super 8 footage, I edited together the voice track so they kind of matched, and then we did a music track so that when it came for the final showing, the penultimate showing, you started the music and filmed together. Hopefully it all started at the same time, and at a specific point you started the second reel to reel machine with a voice track. Needless to say, it didn't quite work out real well. So after a couple of showings, I kind of put it away and I went on to my career as a television producer, talent. We were doing Bozo, Captain 20, Count Gordeval, winning an Emmy along the way, lots of specials and all the rest of that stuff. And then in the 2000s, mid-2000s, I dis rediscovered this footage. All of it, with the exception of a small piece. So I had contacted Johnny Veluzzi and had him record, re-record the small piece and then transferred it all into my computer and did what George Lucas loves to do. Created the ultimate film, the way I envisioned it. Actually, I didn't change the film too much other than to sync the sound more or less and the uh, film and the music more or less. But I did add cool graphics at the beginning and at the end. So. Without further ado, let me bring on my epic, the James Bond spoof Goldfinkel, uh, or what I did on my 1965 summer vacation.
Hello. Chief, this is James Baum. What's my next assignment? What? Goldfinger has escaped. He's in Miami, and you want me to track him down? Okay, I'm on it. Okay, right. Hiding out in Fort Lauderdale. Go as a tourist on the Gold Coast lines and get him. Yeah. Okay.